welcome back to my channel. I'm Maggie. Today I've got a Project Pan update for you. It has been two months since my last update. This year I'm doing Project Pan updates every other month um, and I'm really happy with it. I'm seeing more progress along the way. I feel like in the past when I did monthly, I don't know, they just weren't as exciting. Um, and I have a smaller makeup collection so this helps me kind of have a little bit more time to think about what I'm going to put in next uh, because I don't have as many options as other people. So Let's go ahead and dive in. I had 10 items that I was working on. I've got my cheat sheet here with all my usages that I'm going to reference. And let's go ahead and dive in. So I am rolling out four items. I met the goal of four products from the last time. Um, so we'll talk through those and then I'll be rolling four new items in. First ones I want to talk about are my Clarepop highlighters. So these are both super, super shock highlighters. I have the shade Monster and Lunch Money. Monster is more of a pinky um, highlighter. I did end up hitting pan throughout this project pan. The goal was to use it 50 times and I used it 51. Uh, so I used it 13 times since the last update. And then Lunch Money, I also hit pan on. This is more of like a golden highlight, which I also did hit pan on. Um, so I, the goal for this one was 50 uses. I also used it 51 times, 21 uses since the last update. So both of these are rolling out. I really enjoy them. Um, I know that these are getting old, though. The formula is changing. So my plan is to keep them throughout the rest of this year and then at the end of the year I'll declutter. Um, but I know that I used them at least 50 times this year and I also had them in Project Pan last year to use them each 50 times. So I know I've used each of these at least 100 times that I've tracked, more that I haven't tracked. So that makes me happy that I'm using, you know, using them and um, really seeing some good wear. So these are both rolling on out of the project. I do have another highlighter that I rolled in last time that is staying in. So this is the I Heart Revolution highlighter, um, and this is the shade Duchess. It was part of a Aristocats collab. So I use this as my body highlight, and I only really use body highlight when we're maybe like on vacation or in the summertime, like warmer times. Um, I like to use it on the front of my legs, like my shins and stuff, and then also a little bit like on my shoulders or chest, just have a little sparkle. Um, so this is what the pan is currently looking like. I have hit pan since the last update, just a few little specks here, but still, um, you know, still worthwhile to mention. Now the goal on this is just to use it as many times as I naturally would reach for it this summer. So I'm going to keep it in for one more um, two month cycle. But what I'm trying to figure out is if I really want to keep having a specific body highlight in my collection or if I could just use a normal highlight. Um, so, so far I've used it seven times. During this last two month period from May till now, we did get married and went on our honeymoon in Hawaii. So I used this like every night when we went to dinner um, to have a little bit extra glow. So that's where the most, you know, usages of the, that seven came from was from when we were there. I think I've used it once since we've been home. Um, so it's just kind of an experiment for me. I'm not like ready to get rid of it or anything. I'm just trying to see like how much do I naturally gravitate towards it. And that's why I didn't want to set a usage goal because then I would reach for it more. I just... Just want to kind of do a little experiment. So this will be staying in. We'll see what it looks like next month. Um, but so far, seven uses. Okay, um, next is the bronzer. That will not die. I'm sure some of you were thinking, oh, well, the bronzer's done. It's rolling out. It is not. But I did repress it. So this is what it's currently looking like. And it is thin, thin, thin. So I truly expect this to be done by next update. Um, let me insert a few photos so you can see what it looked like before I repressed it. I waited until it naturally crumbled on the edges. And that's when, once that happened, it started to crumble. That's when I repressed it. I, so I didn't pick it out. It just kind of happened. Um, and I've used it, I think, twice since I've repressed it. It's obviously very fragile. Now it's been repressed and the lid's not on. So this is, um, you know, I'm kind of being delicate with it. I'm not even putting it in my full makeup basket. It's kind of off to the side on its own so it doesn't get shattered again. But this should be done by the next update. Mark my words. This has been in Project Pan for years at this point. So I'm ready for it. I still enjoy the product, um, but I'm ready for it to be gone. So we'll see what we can do. Um, as far as usage goes, I have used the bronzer 27 times. I did not travel with this bronzer. So again, for that trip to Hawaii, 
it did not come with me, which is fine um, because I knew it would just crumble and it'd be a mess and I didn't want to deal with it there. So uh, 27 uses since the last update. All right, let's talk um, one more kind of powder product and then we can switch over to lip products. So I've got a hourglass mini blush here that I am working on and this is new to me. I got it this spring. This is in the shade Diffused Heat. So this is what it looks like. My goal is to use it 40 times just to kind of get to know the product as well as um, kind of have a nice little pop to my cheeks this summer. So I've really been enjoying it. I find that it blends really nicely. I've used up a couple of hourglass blushes in the past in different shades. So I knew I'd like this and I know I like the formula. The minis are just fine with me. Like it takes long enough to get through blush that I don't need a huge one. So anyway, um, I have used this 13 times since I rolled it in last time. So yeah, we'll see where we can get to in the next update, if this will roll out or not, but I'm really enjoying it, so happy that that's staying in. All right, so let's talk some cream products. I realized, I was gonna say lip, but I have one more cream blush actually to show you. This is the ColourPop Blush Sticks in the shade Cool It. So this is a cream blush that I've been working on. To be honest, I have learned throughout this journey that cream blush is just not my favorite. So I will keep this in my project pan because I didn't quite use my um, usage goal yet. The goal is 40 uses and I have used it 36 times. So 10 more times since the last update, but not quite. I've got four more uses out of it and then it'll roll out. Um, and I'll probably honestly like just see how I reach for it for the second half of the year. I'm curious if I reach for it at all if it's not in a project. Um... Yeah, I just don't think that cream is my type of formula. So I have also been keeping track of it on my planner. Um, we're not going to see crazy jumps or anything like that, but hopefully you can see in the orange is the latest line. So there is, you know, progress being made, um, slow and steady. How I apply it is I use a um, stipple brush. I open it up. I kind of push my stipple brush around it and then apply it. So I, I'm not like swiping it directly on my cheeks. But, um, yeah, you know, we're making progress. It's just I'm realizing I'm not a cream girly, and that's fine. Let's talk about lips next. So the lipstick that I have been focusing on is the Revolution Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in the shade Chauffeur. This lipstick is one that I will be working on through the end of the year. My goal is to finish it up all the way. So this is how much I have left. Um, really, it looks like not that much, but it's still quite a bit. Uh, since the last update, I have used this 26 times, so I have a total of 95 uses this calendar year in this project pan. And similar to the um, Cool It blush, I am keeping track of it in my planner, so you can see the progress made there. Again, the orange is the newest update for today, the 15th. So, I mean, a good jump um, in the progress I'm seeing, but it's something that is going to take a little bit longer. So um, the goal again is to finish this all the way up. I do think I can do it by the end of the year, um, but by the end of the year, not the next update. <laughs> uh, so I'll keep tracking that one. Um, it's going, I mean, I don't hate it. It's, it's a good color for me. It works for most things. It's just um, makes me remember how long lipstick takes, at least for my usage, to finish it up. For that one especially, I'm usually not reapplying it. Like I'm applying it when I do my makeup and then I'll put a gloss or just lip balm on later in the day. So that's definitely part of it. Okay, speaking of gloss, I have two glosses to update you on. The first one is empty, or at least as empty as I'm going to get it. I don't like to pull stoppers out of um, lip glosses. So this is the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth Lip Gloss. This is what it looks like. So you can see the lines that I've made. Uh, to track my progress. So this is as done as it's going to be. I can't get any more out from there. There's just a little bit at the bottom, but it's not um, anything I'm like willing to scrape over, if you know what I mean. So as far as usage goes, I used this lip gloss 16 times since the last update for a total of 65 uses in this project pan. I think that's pretty darn good. So this is going to go into my empties and roll on out. And then the second gloss that I brought in last time, I've had seven uses on, and this is the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. So I got this last year and used it a lot in the summertime and then put it away. So now my goal is to finish it up. Um, and now I guess that I finished the Fenty Gloss. It kind of opens up. This is the only gloss that I'm really working on and panning at the moment. So I have just a slight 
change in the line um, as we see on the product there, but nothing major. Again, it's only been seven tracked uses, so it's not that much. But the goal is to finish this up. I've been keeping it here at my desk and reapplying throughout my workday. And then this is also one that I could throw into like my bag over the weekend or whatever when we're out and about. So this is still, um, you know, still got a ways to go on this one, but I feel pretty confident that I can finish it up. I mean, it's a pretty sticky formula. So I feel like when I do wear it, actually a lot of product comes out and is applied. So maybe that'll work to my advantage. And then the last product I have to update you on is also an empty and this is the Fenty Beauty primer. This is my favorite face primer. It's the True Matte Pro Filter Primer. I love this. So I was working to finish this up. I had just a little bit left and it looks like my markings all rubbed off, but I had just a little bit left in here. Um, it took me 18 uses to finish it all the way up and I use about two pumps a day for my face when I do wear makeup. I'm not wearing makeup every day. So did finish this up. I already have another one of these. I also have a mini um, on deck, so I'm stocked, but I just wanted to put it in and yeah, it's finally finished, which is pretty cool. And I was able to open up my fresh bottle. So as a quick recap, the four items that are rolling out of the project, two of which are actually empty, the Fenty Gloss and the Fenty Primer, and then two have met my usage goal, both of the ColourPop highlighters. So these four are rolling out, everything else is staying in, and then I do have four new products to introduce for the next round. So the first one is a setting spray. This is from Revolution, it's the Matte Fix. It says it's for oil control and fixing spray. I don't really believe it, to be honest. I feel like it makes me a little bit too dewy, which is not what I'm going for. So I can't quite see in here because it's a black opaque um, bottle, but I'm guessing I'm about here. So my goal is to finish it all the way up. I actually just purchased a Milani matte um, setting spray. I've enjoyed the Milani original setting spray before. So I'm excited to try their matte version. Um, and so before I open that up, I want to finish this up. So that is what I'm guessing we have left. The goal is to finish this all the way up. So I'll be tracking my uses and hopefully we can do that before the next update. Uh, setting spray is something that I do apply on a daily basis. Like when I do wear makeup, I, I always put it on. So it's part of my routine. It should be pretty easy for me to remember to use it. Other item we're bringing in is an eyeshadow. So this is the Wet n Wild Brulee eyeshadow. I have secretly been tracking my usage on here. So I already have pan in this eyeshadow. Oops, there we go. So I already have a good amount of pans. I want to see how long it takes me to finish it all the way up. I have 80 uses on this eyeshadow um, from when I opened it because I was just curious how long it would take me. So we're going to um, kind of keep track of my usage like starting from here forward, but then at the end I'll be able to know, okay, it took me 120 or 200 uses or whatever to finish it all the way up. I don't think it's going to be 200 uses because there's really a lot of pan already showing, but I wanted to put this in. Um, I use this every day when I do my eyeshadow to set my primer and I kind of use it as an eyebrow highlight as well. So this works well for me to both set that primer so that my eyeshadows on top blend, but also when I'm in a rush, sometimes I won't like really do my eyeshadow, but I'll just swipe a little bit of this over my lids just to kind of take down some oiliness and bring a little bit more evenness to my skin. And I feel like it helps me look a little bit more alert and awake even though I haven't done a whole like makeup look. So this is something that I'm using regularly and I'm excited to see how it progresses now that it's officially in my project pan. Um, I do have two others. When I bought it, I bought three of them off of Amazon. So this is the first of three and I'm just trying to figure out how long one takes for me to finish. And then I can make a more educated like purchase in the future of, okay, I go through four a year or whatever that number is gonna be. All right, and then the other two items are both in the same package. So I am bringing my Hourglass Quad back in. If you're unfamiliar, I had previously been panning one of the shades in here. It will use it as an under eye setting powder. It's beautiful. I loved it, and I finished it all the way up. And I am going to be rolling in both the highlighter and the blush from this palette to work on. So they're both going to be usage goals. The highlighter is right here, the blush, and then I do have a little bit of bronzer left. There's actually not a ton left in there. So after the e.l.f. bronzer is done, I might just go ahead and 
use that one up, but we'll get there when we get there. So the highlighter, I already do have a little bit of pan on, as you can see across this edge here. And my goal is going to use the highlighter 50 times. The blush, I wanna use 40 times. So 50 and 40. Um, the blush a little bit lower because I also have another blush going. And um, as far as blush is concerned, I kind of feel like at the end of the day, a lot of them look very similar because I use such a light hand. So um, not the biggest deal, but I definitely want to get some more progress and some more pan showing in the highlight um, and kind of pull this product further away from that edge there. So I'm going to roll these two in. We'll see how we get on. I'll keep track of the usages, obviously, and show you an update. But I'm feeling pretty good about this. And like I said, I might go into that bronzer here in the second half of the year after the e.l.f. bronzer is done. And it would be great to see, you know, a lot of pan in this palette. So we'll see what we can do. But that's going to be the uh, number three and four that are rolling in for this round. So... That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know how your project pans are going in the comment section, or if you do updates here on YouTube, I'd love to check out your video. So uh, send me a link, but that is all I have for you. So thanks again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.